Hi guys and welcome back. Today's video will be about mine and Pavel's trip to Vietnam. We visited Ho Chi Minh City and Wong Tao in the Saigon area of Vietnam. We will share with you what we did and what we experienced during our time there. Hopefully this sounded enough sounded interesting for you and you will watch our video. <laughs> We arrived to Ho Chi Minh City in the early morning and waited by the city river before our ferry to Wong Tao was scheduled to leave. The ferries are commonly known as hydrofold boats and the whole journey lasted about one hour and a half. The ride was very bumpy and it was hard to appreciate the view due to the water hitting the windows. Nevertheless, we arrived safely and quickly to Wong Tao which is located by the Eastern Sea. Here is a picture of its location. Mung Tao is a popular beach weekend escape for locals and tourists from Ho Chi Minh City. It is a home for about 300,000 people and plays a very significant role in the Vietnamese offshore oil industry. Back in time, it was more commonly known as a significant port and even now, you can still see numerous big boats still along the sea horizon. Our first destination was the top of this hill. We had earlier noticed gondolas going up there and we were very curious as to what was there. For one adult ticket we had to pay 300,000 Vietnamese dong, which is approximately 12 euros and this included the gondola ride up and down as well as the entrance into the park at the top. With very little knowledge as to what to expect, we took the gondola right up, appreciating the stunning view. Once we arrived at the top, we noticed the shuttle service seemed to be leaving. Quickly, we got on not knowing where it was going to take us. However, we caught a quick glance of the view down below as the train like shuttle service drove on. As we were dropped off, we noticed a map of the park. We decided to take a closer look. It showed us where we had come up from and the route where the shuttle service had driven us. We were now in the so-called heart of the park. We explored the love garden, as they called it, and found statues of famous characters and love stories, such as Adam and Eve. While walking further, we discovered a big smiling Buddha statue. We learned that it smiles so widely because of the possibilities and the beauty that the present moment holds. This teaches us to be present in the moment. Inside the park were lots of different rides and opportunities for fun, such as karting. The rest we'll show you a bit later. The karting cars seemed a little bit old and the road was a bit uneven, but there was no one else on the track, so we had it all to ourselves. Next up was paintball, with the view of Vung Tao below. Another fun thing to try was zip lining, which Pavel enjoyed. Unfortunately, I was wearing a skirt, so I could not go. <laughs> However, the park also offered a roller coaster type ride that we both enjoyed. In this ride, the person that was sitting in the back had to handle the brakes of the cart, which was a little scary at first. Overall, the park was a lot of fun. 
We would have stayed there much longer if we would have been more prepared and known what to expect. In addition to all the amusement rides and the sightseeing, there was also even a swimming park. The views of the sea and the city were also a very big plus for the whole thing. One annoying thing we definitely noticed was that whenever a taxi went past us, they would honk and slow down to offer a ride. This happened a lot, but we learned to ignore it. Wung Tao has two beach fronts, which are called Front Beach and Back Beach. This was the front beach, however it was not recommended to swim due to the fact that the harbor was so close. We decided to check out the back beach, which was on the other side of Wung Tao. This meant a walk through the city along its roads without any sidewalk. To our understanding, the back beach was meant for swimming. However, when we arrived, we noticed that the beach and the water were very dirty with washed up trash. Fortunately, after some googling, we found out that at the tip of the peninsula, where Wung Tao lay, was a hotel with a private beach that we could use. Here, we enjoyed the use of sun chairs and clean seawater that was refreshing to swim in. The hotel also offered drinks and we were able to have fresh coconut. The hotel was a typical beachside resort with its security guys and swimming pools. However, we enjoyed it very much as visitors. One evening, we tried out the Wong Tao bar life and noticed how big billiard was. Everybody seemed to know how to play. And to the best part, the food. Fruits here were very fresh and delicious. And I cannot tell you how many watermelon juices I had along this trip, but most likely during every meal. And our ultimate favorite food was the crab soup, as it was rich in flavor and very filling. Definitely a worth a try. Once we were back in Ho Chi Minh City, we planned to visit the Saigon Sky Deck, which is in the Bitex Co. Financial Tower. The Sky Deck is located on the 49th floor, and the ticket up costs it 200,000 Vietnamese dong, which is approximately 8 euros. This is the highest building in Ho Chi Minh City, and had the greatest views of the river and city below. wandering around District 1 of Ho Chi Minh City, where, for example, the Sky Deck is located, and many other numerous sites, such as the statue of Ho Chi Minh in front of the Saigon's People's Committee building. We also saw Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica of Saigon, which was established by the French colonists. Beside the cathedral lay the Saigon Central Post Office. After some sightseeing, we decided to stop for some food, and of course watermelon we decided to try pho, which is a famous Vietnamese noodle soup consisting of broth, rice noodles, and meat. We absolutely loved it, just like we enjoyed all of the food we'd had in Vietnam. Before making our way to the airport, we decided to stop at Ben Thanh Market, which has lots of local handicrafts, textiles, souvenirs, as well as cuisine. We also found a little souvenir for ourselves that we brought home. Overall, we're very happy with our trip to Vietnam. The food and weather were amazing. The beach was also good for the duration we were there, however, Wung Tao and Ho Chi Minh City are definitely places to stay in, only for a couple of days. If to stay longer, we do recommend to travel further around and explore more of Vietnam. Thank you for watching our video, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave us your feedback down below, we love to hear your thoughts and opinions about our videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys, see you again.